Hello, and welcome back to Educator.com's Introduction to PHP course. In today's lesson, we're going to be introducing you to the concept of variables, as well as numeric data types in PHP. So what uh, specifically are we going to cover in this lesson? Well, we're going to talk about um, working with data in PHP. We're going to talk about uh, what are known as identifiers and variables. We're going to talk about two kinds of data that you can use within your PHP code the integer data type, the float data type. We're going to learn about another function uh, that's built into PHP called var dump, var underscore dump, uh, that's used to output information about variables, which you're going to learn about. And then we're also going to talk about coding conventions as they relate to variables. So working with data. Uh, PHP, like all programming language, languages, essentially boils down to manipulating and processing pieces of data. And as such, each programming language has uh, data types or types of data that it allows you to use within your programs. And PHP uh, is no exception and actually has eight data types which it allows. Um, there are four data types known as the scalar data types, which basically refers to simple um, data types. And there's an integer, a float data type, as I mentioned. There's also a string data type and a Boolean data type. There's also two composite data types known as object and array, and two special data types called resource and null. And as we progress through this course, uh, we're eventually, between here and the advanced course, you're going to get exposure to all of these uh, different data types. So we know that in our code, we work with data. And um, how, do, how do we work with data in, in our code? And one of the ways is through the use of identifiers. And basically what an identifier is, is a name you create in your code to refer to a particular piece of data. Um, and what you do is you assign data values to a name. Uh, for example, you might have the name var, and you set it equal, or you assign it the value, let's say, of the integer 1. And as you'll see, variables actually begin with a dollar sign. Um, so what this is is actually an identifier, and um, you can assign it different uh, different pieces of data. And that's actually what a variable is. It's an identifier that you can assign different pieces of data at different points throughout your code. So we might assign it 1 here and then later in the code assign it a value of 2. And basically the assignment again refers to uh, associating a particular piece of data with a name in your code that you can use to refer to that piece of data. So variables. Um, Variable uh, identifiers. Uh, we know that, um, as mentioned, variables are identifiers that can be set to, they can have different data values throughout uh, your code. It can have a value of one in the beginning, two in the end, and you can do that as often as needed. That's the purpose of variables. Uh, so how do we, what's the syntax for d defining variables in our code? And basically, uh, variables begin with a dollar sign, or variable identifiers begin with a dollar sign, uh, followed by a variable name. And in PHP, uh, names are case sensitive, and um, they can be followed by an underscore and a, and a letter, and then any other combination of letters, underscores, and numbers. And this is an example right here, a dollar sign followed by the, the variable name total. That's a variable identifier. Additionally, when we assign um, static values to variables or hard-coded values such as zero, um, those are known as literals. So you'll hear me refer to the term an integer literal, a float literal. And basically those are numbers, uh, in this case numbers, that are hard-coded into your code. And variables are actually declared uh, using an assignment statement. And this right here is an assignment statement. And what it does is you have the variable identifier, you have an equal sign, which is known as the assignment operator, and you have a literal value. So basically what this assignment statement does is it's um, declaring to PHP you're creating a variable named total and through this operator you're assigning it the value of zero. So now if you were to use total in other parts of your code um, you could when you reference it it would also be referencing this value zero. Uh, 